All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about this concept of social justice. Uh, folks are oftentimes confused by that, or there are so many uh, variations of the definition that I want to use for our discussion this specific um, definition of social justice. So first of all, what is, what is the law or what is a law? And a law is a, a, a set of principles that are uh, established by a government, that are enforced by a government, that there are fines and taxes and uh, uh, other uh, and consequences for the breaking of the, these principles that are set up by, by governments. And so, um, so the law is something that, that governments set up to help govern the behaviors of their, of their people. Um, and so in a representative democracy, how is it that, that laws are formed? And so many of us recognize that there are, particularly in the, in the United States, there are three branches of government. There is the legislative branch, there is the judicial branch, and there is the uh, executive branch. And in those branches of government, they each have individual responsibilities. And so the, uh, in a representative democracy, what we do is we vote people to what we call uh, Congress. And Congress is made up of uh, the House of Representatives and uh, what is also known as the Senate. So uh, even within uh, Congress, there is uh, a division between those those two parties that folks have to agree. Now, in a rep representative democracy, what we do is we vote people into those two houses or those two offices in the United States government to help make laws. And so what they do is the people that they represent, they, they, they poll those people, they talk to those people, they ask those people what they want. Um, and oftentimes, uh, some of those people uh, that they're representing get together and create PACs or uh, have lobbyists that, that you know, work with the, 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 the voted um, representatives and say, hey, this is what we want. As a result of that, what typically happens is that the, since the majority has uh, better representation than the minority, that laws oftentimes in a representative uh, 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 democracy, laws oftentimes get made to benefit the majority uh, without regard to the, the minority. Um, in terms of dem uh, representative democracy, all you need is 51% to have something pass. The, the, the problem is that that means that there is 49% that may disagree with, with that decision. And that is a large number of individuals to have dissenting on, on, on an opinion. And so uh, often when, when this is in play, this representative democracy is in play, this 51-49 uh, becomes a metaphor for some of the struggles that we encounter when trying to get things done through a legislative process. So. So the, the, the legislative branch creates, uh, in a rep representative democracy, the, the legislature um, creates those laws based on those two houses, uh, and, and state models oftentimes follow this model, and counties uh, follow this model a bit more differently uh, or more loosely, but this pretty much is how American government works, right? So this representative democracy, 51%, uh, 49%, over 49%. And so what ends up happening oftentimes is that laws are created that benefit the majority um, to the disincentive of participation of the, the, the minority. And so we get this, this rub. And, and so then they are created two types of laws. Um, or, or three types of laws, if you will. So there is the law that is on the books that the representatives have, uh, have created because the population or, or the populace, the majority of people say, this is what we want. So those become the laws. But then there are uh, two other subsets of laws that, that start to be created. And, and we'll consider for this conversation, we'll talk about unjust laws versus 
just laws, right? And so an unjust law is one that benefits the 51% without regard to its impact on the 49%. Or uh, unjust laws are laws that, uh, that benefit from making sure that the 49% don't have access to goods, jobs, services, and money. That would be an unjust law. For example, uh, Jim Crow, uh, as, a, as a form of, of government, separate but equal, um, ask, uh, don't ask, don't tell. Um, these would be examples of laws that were created by the 51% to, uh, to, to the detriment of the, the 49%. Right? So the detriment to the minority. And so uh, oftentimes there are things that we do that are legal, that are, that are um, unjust, but they are legal. And Dr. King addresses a number of those things, and we'll talk about that when we talk about the letter from the Birmingham jail. Uh, I don't want to spill that just yet. But, but unjust laws... Uh, keep people from getting access to goods, jobs, services, and money. I'm still talking about what social justice is, right? So, so this is in the uh, still under social justice. Uh, just laws are those things that actually benefit everyone. And so uh, the, the unjust laws typically have benefited the majority to the detriment of the minority, where just laws actually benefit everyone. All right. So, um, and unfortunately, so sometimes what, what we've tried to do is, is say that, well, this is just the law, but unfortunately it impacts folks differently, right? So um, there was, uh, and I, I, I will bring up the, the statues associated with this, but, but for a long time, um, cocaine was uh, prosecuted in two different ways. Um, powder cocaine had a lighter sentence because of its uh, because of statute, 